In this episode of Cooking with Stacey Lynn, I am making a homemade pie crust. This pie crust is great for savory dishes and for sweet dishes. And it is super simple, and you're going to want this recipe in your repertoire. So here we go. The first thing I'm going to do is add three cups of flour. Okay, and you'll just even it up and put it right down in a food processor. All right, then I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm going to get that good and blend it. Okay. Just give it a little pulse, get it nice and blended. And then it's time for the fats. So I have a third cup of Crisco or any kind of shortening. And it's super cold. I've had that in the refrigerator. I have one and a half sticks of butter that I am shredding with a cheese shredder. So it's going pretty quickly because I had my butter in the freezer. The reason that I use butter and shortening in this is that the butter has the flavor. That's where all the flavor is. And the shortening will make it nice and flaky because it has a high point of heat. OK, so I'm going to put this down in here now. And then I'm going to just get this to where it looks like a cornmeal. You just want the fat to really get all around onto that those pieces of flour, OK? Because that's going to make such a great flaky crust. It's going to be delicious. OK, now I'm going to turn this on medium low speed. And I'm going to add about a half a cup of water. OK, and this is ice water because you want to keep everything really, really cold. OK, and when you see it coming together, you don't have to put any more water in it. I let it go for just a second. And you can pulse it. This is where you don't really want to over mix it. The flour will make it to where you have a tough crust and you don't want that. OK, it's beginning to come together now. I'm going to add just a little bit more water. OK, and I'm going to stop. This came together beautifully. OK, so I'm going to get this out. OK, wrap it in some saran wrap, put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, and you are almost ready to eat your pie. All right, now this has been chilling for 30 minutes, and I'm going to cut it in half. So now that you have two pie shells, one for the top and one for the bottom, you can use it or you can store it for later. You can wrap it up and put it in your freezer and freeze it for a couple of months. It's really just that simple. OK, so I'm going to put one over to the side because I only need the bottom crust. And then I'm going to sprinkle my surface with a little bit of flour. I like to put a little bit of flour on top of my dough so that my rolling pin doesn't stick to it. And you can also put it on to the rolling pin. I like a heavy rolling pin. But this dough is relatively soft. And if you got it more moist than you wanted to, you can add more flour here or use less flour when you're rolling. OK, so I'm going to roll this to about 14 inches. So I rolled this out to really a little bit more than 14 inches. But I did that so that I would have plenty of dough to work with when I make the edge really pretty light. So right now, to get this into the pie plate, I'm just going to roll this over the rolling pin, slip the pie plate underneath the crust, and then roll this back out. And then it's positioned pretty much where I want it, but you can just delicately move it to exactly where you want it. And don't worry if you get a hole in it, you can fix it. Just add a little bit more of that, the dough that's out here to the middle. All right, now I'm going to take my pie scraper and just kind of, I'm going to leave myself a little bit of crust around the edges so that I can crimp it and make it really pretty. And I think, you know, if you're making something, why not make it pretty? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go around the edge and you're going to fold it under. So I'm going to go all the way around. And then I'm going to show you how to crimp the edge. Now, all of my kids learn this really, really early because it's not something that I just love to do. I feel like, oh, I got to hurry, I got to hurry. I got to get my, my meal on the table. So I give this to all my youngest children. So 
I am just pinching. I'm using two fingers, and then I'm gonna put another finger in between it, and it makes a beautiful design. So here's your homemade pie crust. It's just as easy as that. You can fill this with anything you want to, but coming up next, I'm gonna be making a pecan pie with brown sugar and bourbon. You're not gonna wanna miss this. <laughs>